This presentation is about the Animal Ark Wildlife Sanctuary. When I first moved to Reno, I was unsure of what to do in the small town, so I resorted to what I knew best, a quick Google search about the best things to do in Reno. Animal Ark sparked my interest, so I decided to make a visit and I was amazed at how awesome it was. The sanctuary was co-founded in 1981 by the married couple Aaron and Diana Heibel. Aaron explained that the largest roadblock for opening the sanctuary was not working with the animals, but finances, since the couple built everything out of pocket. Animal Ark differs from a zoo because they do not sell, trade, or breed organisms. Instead, one of the sanctuary's main purpose is to educate the public. The Ark provides a backstory for every animal, which gives the organism an identity and makes them feel more relatable and human-like. I'm going to share some of these stories with you. The black bear, LG, was found in November of 2010 near Mount Rose Highway abandoned and alone. The cub only weighed 14 pounds when they found him, yet a healthy bear cub should weigh 60 to 100 pounds that close to hibernation season. The cub's ears were so frostbitten that the tips fell off, which ultimately disqualified him from release. Gracie was confiscated from her owners on April 22, 2002 because they illegally transported her across state lines. Gracie only weighed 9.5 pounds, so she required specialized care in bottle feeding, diet, housing, nurturing, and exercise. Now, she loves relaxing in her enclosure's pool. The third black bear at the sanctuary is Gibbs, and he arrived on July 20, 2015. The fearless bear was being hand-fed near vacation cabins, so the Ark took him in. But he strangely would not hibernate during winter. Since he was so comfortable with humans and exhibited abnormal behaviors, he could not be released back into the wild. North American black bears typically eat a variety of berries and nuts. In order to educate visitors on black bears' dietary needs, one of the daily events at Animal Ark is the bear feeding at 10.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. The keepers hide the food around the enclosure so that bears have to use their critical thinking skills, similar to the wild. Up next is Lily, whose owner could not commit to raising and caring for the tiger cub after she was in a serious car accident requiring surgery. Lily arrived to the wildlife haven in January of 2017 at only six months old. When I was at the Ark, she purred very loudly whenever any visitors walked by. Poppy, also captive-born, was given to the animal ark at four and a half months old after her owner faced difficulties with housing, long-term care, and finances. Poppy had a difficult time adapting to the new environment, so a keeper stayed at her enclosure around the clock in order to reduce her stress. Lily and Poppy represent their wild cousins, whose populations are declining in Asia because of constant persecution and habitat destruction. In order to raise awareness and funds for tiger conservation efforts, Animal Ark began hosting the Eye of the Tiger painting event with Pino's palette this year. The next story is about Moyo and Jamar, who arrived from the Dewild Cheetah Center and Wildlife Trust located in South Africa. Getting the cubs to the Ark was definitely tricky. The cheetahs had to travel from Cape Town to London to San Francisco via a plane through the British Airways. The two cheetahs serve as ambassadors for the endangered species, and they are also aiding in research about the benefits of high-speed running for captive cheetahs. The On the Wind Cheetah Run special event allows spectators to watch the fastest mammal on Earth sprint 60 miles per hour. This popular event has been going on for almost 20 years. The total cheetah population is estimated to only be between 5 and 12,000 cheetahs worldwide because of hunting and habitat disruption so funding and awareness is desperately needed to save the endangered species since the cat is very difficult to breed in captivity. Unlike the cheetah, mountain lion are not threatened, but Animal Ark still took an orphan Daniel on October 17, 2011 at three and a half months old. Normally, tracking down a cougar and her kittens is nearly impossible because they are very elusive, yet a UNR PhD candidate was monitoring the mountain lion family so saving the abandoned kitten was possible. Milo the cougar was hit by a car near Lake Tahoe on February 5, 2008, and he suffered a very severe fractured femur and pelvic injuries. Marvelously, the mountain lion recovered, so the team decided to name him Milagro, Milo for short, which is Spanish for miracle. During my visit, 
One of the keepers explained that Milo used to scream and chirp, similar to a small child throwing a fit for a toy, until they let him back into his sleeping quarters. Hearing this story highlighted Milo's interesting personality. He was much more than a stereotype of a killing machine. I definitely felt a new appreciation for the animal that day. Although I only mentioned four, the sanctuary also houses many other mammals. Red fox, kit fox, arctic fox, American badgers, Canada lynx, gray wolves, coyotes, bobcats, and jaguars. Non-mammals include the great horned owl, barn owl, deer falcon, red-tailed hawk, turkey vulture, and desert tortoise. The Animal Ark hosts a variety of events from fancy dinners, such as Paws and Claws, to the Ark at Dark event, which is a night tour of the sanctuary. This list is from 2017, so make sure to visit the website, animalark.org, for the most updated information about the exciting events they are hosting this year. If you would like to visit, the Animal Ark is about a 30-minute drive outside of Reno. The sanctuary is open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. from mid-March to early November. They are also open on Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day, and they do attempt to open back up for Thanksgiving weekend, MLK weekend, and President's Day weekend. I was really impressed with the sanctuary, so I hope this Pecha Kucha inspires you to visit Animal Ark, too. You won't regret observing the magnificent creatures that call it home. Thank you for watching.